Here we go. track. So I specifically wrote this out without any anticipations, okay? Uh, I tried to avoid uh, as much syncopation as possible uh, to make it a little bit easier for you to be able to actually, you know, play along with this. Because uh, since these chords are really dense and there's a lot of chords here, if we're starting to like do all this anticipation stuff, I think it'll really confuse you right off the bat. Um, so anyway, what you should do is you should really get down this B section nice and solid. So go between the A section and then go between the B section. Uh, when we continue, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be moving on to that C section, all right, and uh, getting all of those chords and then also getting some, uh, uh, some chords in the left hand as well. Um, like I said, you can try messing around with the rhythm. You don't have to keep the rhythm um, uh, just set the way it is. I'll also make sure that I put in just the drum track so you can go ahead and play along with that drum track that would sound something like this. So when you're playing with the drum track, you don't have to play with the bass and you can stay on one chord for a little bit longer. So like just on the C minor and get to that B flat minor. another nice way of practicing this stuff so that you can have a little bit more time. You don't have to worry about the bass player rushing you. Get into it when you feel comfortable, all right? can do as well, I forgot to mention this earlier, so let me mention it to you right now. You can play, you can elongate the rhythm so that all of the rhythms are twice as long. So rather than it being a, um, a half note here for the C minor, you hold it out for a full measure. So it would be this. One, two, three, four. See how I'm holding out all of the notes twice as long? So the left hand is really playing half notes. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. 
This is a great way of practicing those chords and being able to get faster at moving between them because it's not as fast as going uh, the same speed as uh, the bass is going, right? But at least you're getting this nice solid rhythm going on. If you feel comfortable with that one, you can just play that as one measure if you wanted to. All right, so um, that's another nice, like, like I said, that's, that's, that's another nice way of getting down these chords. So play just with the drum track and play the entire B section twice as long. So rather than playing, you know, if you see it, if it says a half note, play it as a whole note. If it says a quarter note, then play it as a half note. Um, the eighth notes there on the A, a flat uh, uh, major seven. Those would be quarter notes. Two, three, four. Obviously, you can only do that when you're playing along with the drum track or a metronome, because with the bass, the bass is going to move, you know, as fast as the bass is moving. All right, so anyway, have fun with that. And uh, when I come back, I'll see you in section C.